What is going on, Governors? Chisco here, and today we're spinning the XY Wheel of Fortune, jamming our way through Soroli and just hanging out, having a good time. I'm looking forward to just chilling. We're just going to chill. Oh, yeah, talk about how Baba migrated to 636. Is that really a thing? Chat's all over it, man. Chat is all freaking over it. Oh, man. Before we begin, a big shout out to the members and moderators in the chat, Ben, Brendan, Cahill, Chase Irvin, Outsider, Scary Terry, Tito823, Torjor, hey cheers CR dude, good to see you, hope that you're all doing well, I'm hyped man, I'm hyped, it's a new year. And I'm still spinning XY, so I guess some things haven't changed. Lee Thomas, cheers. Good to see you. Some fans of 1351 in the chat. Okay. Let's go to the uh, in-game screens here. Everybody's talking about Baba migrating. Woo! Good luck with the wheel. Hey, cheers. Thank you. Shout out to 1884. Best be 200 million power now. Nope. Still not there yet. GG. Still not even 200 million power. Should I do X, Y, or William? You're free to play. If you have Saladin. Ooh, I got a lot of these crystal keys. Let's freaking open these up. I did not even know I had these crystal keys. Hey, EQ. How's it going? The one and only... I don't plan to max XY today. If I'm going to max XY, it's going to be in two days from now. And that's a big if. But if I am going to max XY, I mean, I want to max spin this wheel, you know? So we're going to do some wheel spinning here. What's my XY looking like before we'll spin? I'll check him out. I think he's 5543 five, with 13 sculptures. 
I know that's a rather specific guess. I think that's what it is, though. You're free to play and you got Genghis after one spin? Good for you. Congratulations. We're going to crack these open real quick. I think we'll be spinning the XY wheel soon. Watching the nightmare in game. Wait, what nightmares in game, EQ? Call me Robert. Robert, I'll try to remember. Everybody's talking about the Baba migration. The speculation is that he went to go play on an Arc League team. Is that right? Ooh. Windswept that I definitely don't need. We're really just looking for one pattern. It's Navarre's control. I love Cheese Ghoul. Cheers. Thank you, Underbot. I appreciate you. Which is better, Ram Neb or Ram Cyrus? So you'd want to do Cyrus Ram flip the order so you get the debuff, making it so that the target will take more additional damage. That's damage over time. And then Ramses hits him with damage over time. So you'd want to do Cyrus primary. But between the two, I personally prefer the Nebu Ram for open field. Just for the AoE. It's more AoE. Nebu E Song is also nuts. Hey, cheers, Underbot. Have I heard of 1821? I have not. Hope you don't take offense to that. I haven't heard of most kingdoms. How many passports did it cost him? 75 is the max number of passports that it'll cost you. T6 would be interesting. I don't know that they will potentially ever do T6. Drixen, how's it going? Need that 3% from the OL skin. Hey, when you train when you train as much as Baba does, do you know how much money you would save if you got the OL skin? Where is it? This one? The ruins of Komobo. Or Komombo? Your king has 450 million power? Sheesh. Oh, man. Enough for a Tesla? Yeah, Baba would save enough for a Tesla, huh? The 3% training speed is a lie? Oh, no. The 3% training speed is life. Training speed is life! Go and max Cyrus? Nah. I gotta have something to spin during the archer wheel. I can't max him. I can't. And I'll have nothing to spin in the archer wheel. But uh, realistically, I'll get one more archer wheel and then from that wheel he'll be maxed. I don't know where Baba's location is. Hannibal is not good. You're new, choose Germany. Start the game with Britain or China, then switch to Germany for training speed. Or if you start with Britain, you can just stay with that till you get in the KVK and then maybe consider switching. Because that comes with training speed, you see? Prediction for new Cav Commanders? I mean, I think I said this before. I think in Cav Commanders, we should expect to see... A garrison captain and an open fielder. Or if it's really... I mean, look. If we got a garrison captain and a rally lead, that would be gross, bro. If we got a rally lead to go with XY instead of Chandra Gupta, ooh, man, that would be nuts. I don't know if they're going to do that. And if we get a garrison captain to go with Jad instead of YSS, oh my god, man. It's going to be crazy. So I don't know what they're going to do. But pretty much anything they do is dangerous. Like they're either either they're get, making a good open fielder. A good garrison captain changes the meta. Maybe. A good rally lead changes the meta. Maybe. You got a 75% proc on your Shios. Cheers. Grats on that refine BYG. What's my opinion on Cyrus Nebu? 
I guess. I mean, it's a lot of march speed. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's a lot of march speed, a lot of rage gen, a lot of AoE damage. Cyrus Neb, I, I, I can buy into that. I just think most people will probably just stick with Cyrus, or not Cyrus, with Neb Song. The 50% skill damage boost of the Neb Song is just gross. I told you I was really close. Jeez, I didn't realize I was that close. I'm so close to maxing Cyrus. It's really kind of gross. Oh, we got a Baba location. We got a Baba location. It's Baba Watch. You all are too young probably to remember Baywatch. Okay, what do we got? That's, there's no Baba here. But Money Moto's here. I must have typed it incorrectly. I did not type it incorrectly. So, we found Money Moto. But I can't find the Baba. Okay, alternate coordinates now. Oh, yeah, just south of where I was. There he is, right next to the mother load. Woo! It's real. It's real. What do we got here? Presumably that's him on his Ducati. With his kid. You gotta respect that. Come on, throw a like on there. Oh, 7,800 and 31 likes on that photo. Sheesh, man. Okay. I don't even know what I'm liking. Just throw likes on his photos. Let's go. Photo shoot. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, wow. He actually played... Uh... Champions of Olympia, good for him. Okay. Okay. 121 million dead, GG. Oh my God, GG. Yikes. Can we look at his commander tab? Yep. Oh, oh, oh he's even got his talents public. That's interesting. That's interesting. It's definitely an interesting build on his Trajan. I mean, presumably he's got mixed troops in there, but he's counting on not having mixed troops for a non-trivial portion of the fight with his Trajan build. Yelga builds. Okay, I see you. This this to me is a little weird. I, I would be surprised if you wouldn't get more value taking uh, the three points out of here and putting them into the skill damage, right? That's interesting. Also, two out of five points in Feral Nature. I feel like there's something very specific here that he's doing, and I don't know what it is. But I would probably, like, carve off three to go over here and three more to go over there, right? Someone saying the talents are maybe bugged. That could be. Ooh, now this is a good one. The Guan open field build. What's he got? So this build looks good to me. What you're trying to do with this build is probably canyon. If I had to guess, this looks like a canyon build. So there's no march speed. He, he's sort of skipped out on the right half of the tree. This is all about march speed manipulation on this right side of the tree. Can you make for me a Honda with infantry best pair? I mean, I think Honda with Trajan is probably the way to go if you're doing infantry. I don't know who he's paired with to get any value from this one point. I feel like you could relocate this anywhere and get a little more value. Because there's no damage over time in any Guan combo I'm aware of. So I would just 
take that one point and I'd put it even in just conquering for like half a percent of stats. Just literally anywhere. Ooh, XY. This could be interesting. All right. So we got a clarity build here. This has to be a rally build, right? The reason I'm suggesting it's a rally build is because, oh, it, maybe it's not. He's missing Conqueror. He didn't take Rally and Cry, so he doesn't care about the start of the fight. So that's why I assume, like, is this a... Maybe maybe a Rally build? This could just be open field. I, I'm surprised he hasn't taken Buckler Shield. Right? Like, this part of the tree makes a lot of sense to me. I like this. And I think this makes a lot of sense. Over here. I actually think a full skill build on XY is perfectly fine, but... And I, and I appreciate the extra skill damage from this branch over here. I get it. So he's, he's sort of opting to reduce the attack of the enemy. And give himself a little bit of rage. That's like, this point over here is kind of available. Then he's got some march speed, which would be irrelevant for a rally. So maybe this is an open field build. Because I feel like for a rally... Like, you shave off one, and then four points over here. That's five. There's six, seven. You have ten points to work with. Those ten points gives you one over here, three over there, three over there. You only needed seven points to begin with. Okay, so you take these seven right over here. You shave those off. GG, right? Honda and Toyota's better. GG. GG. This is fun. Here's the most important thing, though. How do you build this Cleo? Let's go. Gathering build. And emergency protection. So this is a man who's worried about his farmers getting hit right here. The one time he sends out his gatherer in his lifetime. He's going to take reduced skill damage. I mean, you know, personally, I do a fair amount of gathering. I would probably carve off these six points. And, and I would just claim this hasty departure over here for the for the hasty getaways, you know, when you get in trouble. In fact, if you really... I mean, look. Baba's not the kind of guy who's got to, like, do a lot of gathering, right? So, like, it's not like he's running out his gatherers all the time like the rest of us plebs. So, check his resources gathered. Actually, that's a good point. Right? Like... He's got 5.6 billion gathered. He's not doing that much gathering. But in a gathering build, I like to hunt for as much march speed as I can get, you know? So if I look at my Cleo... Where's my Cleo? Where are you at, girl? She's probably not more than level 40, even though... What, I don't have stars and experience? I could level up legendary gathering commanders, right? Yeah, I'd have to level her up more. So what would I go for if I leveled her up? I'd get the march speed here. That's I'd go for that for sure with more levels on her. I'm kind of tempted to just do it. What am I doing? Why do I not have these points? Because she's le legendary. That's why. What, I don't have the stars and the experience tones? I definitely do. Cleo's decked out too, man. Woo. What am I doing? See, this is what I would this is what I would do. I can't believe I haven't done this. Something like this. This this is the way you play that split right here. This this is the way you play an integration support split. This this is how you do it. Right? So I got the march speed over here, 6% hasty departure, and then another 9% over there. Right, that's that's the way you run an integration support split on a gathering commander. This is my main account, yeah. That's how I would do that. Ooh. People checking out Baba now. Why are those not special talented? Because that takes gold I didn't want to spend, I think, would be my best guess. Also, it's not my pit march. So my pit march... Probably got a Constance primary. Yeah, that's gotta be it, right? 
But even on her, I still haven't gotten them talented. It's just too much gold. I don't know what the payback time is, but I think at some point I assessed it as being just too long to be worth doing. But I haven't actually mathed that out to see, but it's just every time I refine this, it's 6 million gold, man. How much gold am I getting from a pit? Is it is probably not worth. I'm gonna spend a hundred million gold talenting this gear. How long is it gonna take me to get the return on that? I did make a bunch of gathering gear before migrating. That I did do. I tried to make gear and get talents, but I just didn't get lucky. And I tried to do it by just making more gear, right? So I just made a bunch of gathering gear, hoping that when I would make it fresh i would get a talent i didn't look 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 at how much of the epic gear i made I, I, I did do that i made a bunch of it just didn't get lucky yeah i made a ton of that stuff sometimes you get lucky other times you don't yeah i got some value before migrating Exactly. Hashtag pull to chess school. Now you're now you're picking up what I'm putting down. Eternal, thank you for the super chat. Get a level 60 Charlemagne for the memes. Honestly, that would be a really fun bet to run with somebody. If if I lose the bet, the loser of the bet has to take Charlemagne to level 60. That would actually be a fun bet. Word out each Chad. Thank you for the super chat. Broski, I can already tell the stress has melted away from you. More content, please. Our past four opens in 24 hours. Ooh, you're battling against Mimi, dude. dude. She's fierce. Good luck. Thank you for the super. That actually sounds kind of fun. Maybe I'll stream that. I don't know. To be determined. Thoughts on special ticket player Benjamin Brother to 254? I don't know who we ticketed. The only person I know we ticketed is Teddy. I don't have to keep track of this kind of stuff now. It's nice. It's real nice. Hold on. We got to save the location here for our good friend Baba. Boom. Favorite. Friend, yo, we gotta, we gotta make it in the friend category over here. We're friend zoning Baba right now. <laughs> do the wheel, please. Okay, we'll do the wheel. Check out Harmon. We ticket Benjamin to SX. Oh, cool. Are the? I mean, I can. If you're asking me to like check out their stats, I can go to the rankings, individual power. No alliance for Tickle Fist. Rip. Woo, 202 million. Let's go. 6.4 billion kill points, 36.8 million deads. All right, all right, I see you. 15 billion gathered, 90.9 billion assistants. Oh, that's... Dude, they have given to other players three times the amount I have gathered. Okay, three times the amount I have gathered. <laughs> you think the Trajan marches die fast, like too fast? No, but if they get focused, they can get into trouble. That's why I like Herald for the counterattack damage, you know? You do a lot. It really elevates the survivability of the Trajan. What am I doing the wheel? I don't know. Maybe I should fire up the wheel. You got to top 32 OL in the realm of Bastet. Cheers. Hey, speaking of OL. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, I, I've been slacking. Look at this. League bets coming soon. Also, I've been super slacking. We need to just go look in Kingdom 2 real quick. Real quick. And just see if there's some new event. I'm like super slacking right now. Is there anything new? Look at this. I even have research completed. It's been a minute since I logged into this account. Sheesh. Getting 
get my way out of some of those T3s that I had there. Cheers to the folks in Kingdom 2 for hosting me. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We'll go look for some new events in Kingdom 2 here. If there are any. Should I invest in the Richard Wheel of Fortune? You know, I got problems with Richard. My problem with Richard is that he's just going to fade off in terms of value. And given how valuable a commander that's right around the corner, Alexander the Great, is going to be, a lot of the people who ask, like, should I do Richard? Should probably just do Alex instead. So many accounts, dude. Too many accounts. I even have two farm accounts I started in 254 that I haven't even, like, actually made yet. But I need to. I need to, like, actually get on that and start doing stuff. Okay. Do like I say, not like I do. No rune. No kingdom buff. No title. GG. It's just a 35 million power account I have lying around. What? You don't have one of those just chilling? In case you need it. Or who knows what. Doesn't everyone have one of those? With hundreds of millions of resources? No? I don't know, man. I guess I'm kind of weird. Good morning, Tarek. How's it going? Alright, Kingdom 2 account. Do we have anything new here? It's the event section I'm most interested in. Eye for Talent. An Osiris League Baths. Soroli, but... A picture of Dakar with no Dakar in the lineup. Okay. And no new events over here. All right. Hey, Echo, what's up, dude? How are you, man? For those of you that don't know, Echo used to cover Rise of Kingdoms on his channel. We did some fun collaborations that are... I don't know if they're still among the most watched Rise of Kingdoms videos of all time, but they probably are. Hope you're doing well, man. You should definitely go check out Echo. Right now he's focused on Diablo Immortal, which is in beta? Beta now? What is the best choice for the wheel? I made a video about this. For this wheel? For most people, probably William. It's William or XY, I would say. What gift is Wolf? It was 41. Oh, New Wolf, though, is... We, we got here, we were 20, and now we're... 22 and a half? Lol. We've been here like a week, and we've bumped it up like two gift levels. GG. <laughs> Whoops. Dude, the lower gift levels are amazing. They're much better. High gift level is super overrated. You get more gold keys. It's called totally backwards from what you want. Hey, how's it going, Yanni? Okay. Spin the wheel. Should I just spin the wheel already? Spin the wheel already, cheesy pants. William's not as good as a primary. No, I agree. Don't make him primary. I tried it. Literally, I tried it, okay? Like, I leveled him up. And and it was... I, I don't think there was a commander I have used less at level 60 being primary. Like, I got more use out of Barca as a primary back in the day than I got out of William as a primary when I bumped him up for testing. Didn't work. What do I think of alliance-based KVKs? I'm very, 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 very concerned. We've spent three years building kingdom-based communities. And now we just take that baby and throw it out with the bathwater and say, actually, you just need alliance-based communities. GG, bro. So I... It's concerning. But hopefully it will go well. Hopefully it will go well. Salad and William or XY and William? XY William is very squishy. It's like, it's a, it is the definition of a glass cannon march. 
If they don't focus your XY William, you are going to do some ridiculous amounts of damage. But if they focus their your XY William, and they probably will, you're going to get wrecked. You almost need to hide XY these days. Where's my little girl? Um, you know, I think she's probably having lunch right now. Oh, there almost certainly will be more Civil Wars now. Almost certainly. Training speed. Let's go. Let's go. Rachel the Radiant. Cheers. Good to see you. Tony, thank you for subscribing. Hey, if you are enjoying the live stream, throw a like on here and consider subscribing to the channel. Salad and XY is a mighty fine combo, I'm told. I just haven't used it. Salad and William is also a combo that I personally use, and I haven't been in a rush to get XY maxed. But that's also partially because I can make content like this. The longer I wait, the more wheels I can do with them, the more content we got, baby. Whoa, don't switch to Takeda. GG. Derek doesn't use his XY in the field. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. He gets really beat up. Gotta have some caffeine there, you know? I have not heard of any viable Solomon pairings at all. Rip. How many hours per day do I actively play Rock? Not as many as it used to be. I'm at like... I don't know. Depending on the day? Probably between... Like, th I want to say three to five hours a day. Right now, we have a new season, <clears throat> pardon me, going in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. Let me hydrate a little. <clears throat> oh, man, I got a frog in my throat. GG. Yeah, no, it's a lot. <clears throat> we got a fresh season for Lord of the Rings Rise to War right now, so I'm, I'm kind of doing a fair amount of that. We have a really good group there, which makes it very fun. Oh, dang, we got a crab rave. All right, everybody. You know the rules. Get your crab claws ready. It's just in the playlist. Sometimes this happens. Whale tanking over here, rolling AT, but when the 7th March opens up, we'll have more DPS. Salad and XY or Salad and William. I think you do Salad and William. You want the defense and rage from the William. Thank you for the super. Also, Hungry 40s, thank you for the super chat. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to answer your question in a second, Hungry 40s. Chat's blowing up anyways. I'm going to have to scroll up to see it, and I got my crab claws busy. For those of you that don't know, one day I was minding my own business and this song played and everybody went nuts. And so crab raves became a thing. Now the way you play a crab rave, the way you run this boss encounter is you're supposed to just chill out. The boss is the stress in your life. You conquer the boss by using crab hands. It's really quite simple. Easy to understand. Raid mechanics, super simple here. The whole point is to just take a second to freaking chill. You feel that, right? You just feel your whole your whole mind body is just relaxing right now. Just chill. Take it easy. I used to work somewhere and they would someone I don't forget who first said this. But they're like, dude, we're we're not putting hearts into babies here. It's we're just playing a mobile game, alright? Everybody We tone it down a notch. We take it easy. This is supposed to be relaxing. Uh, why'd we pick a war game to relax? I don't know, man. Run, tell Mel. Thanks for the super chat. Much appreciated. Take it easy, everybody. And then in a second, we're going to answer this super. I'm hungry 40s. Now, if you're in a public place, you might consider not using crab hands. We're going to look at you weird. It's weird times to be weird in public. <laughs> But if you don't care what other people think, have fun. Frontliner, thanks for the message. Appreciate your being a member for nine months. Let's go. I can totally see you doing okay. 
crab dance at a wedding? Uh, I mean, now I have to do it. Bingy Diggy! Thank you for the super chat. Woosa! So, um... Hungry Forties, thank you for the message here. I know Martelli Song's a great city defense combo, so KVK3, but if I'm a Cav man with a lot more T5 Cavs, should I garrison with Salad and Esong instead? Probably not. I mean, you'd need a lot, a lot more Cavs for that to be a thing. I, I feel like the Martel, and especially those talents that you could have, are very, very good. Especially anti-Cav talents, because often you get rallied with Cavs. Okay. Wheel time. Serious question. XY at 551. Not gonna max him. Leave the fourth skill unopened. Hmm. You might just leave the fourth skill unopened. I'd have to think about that some more. You're welcome, Hungry Forties. And that that was not amazing. That that's been right there. I don't need these stars. I, we just finished talking about how I should start using stars on gathering commanders. GG. At least I got uh, some hours of speed ups there, right? 90 hours. Uh, this is Final Boss by Nitro Fun. On the topic of XY, that fourth skill, the reason that we were talking there about potentially not activating it is that after XY uses an active skill, Gains a stack of March speed reduction. Not amazing. So if you only had one point in this, you're saving 10 rage. You're gaining 1% bonus damage at the cost of 10% March speed. I think you'd probably just leave this unlocked, honestly. Just don't unlock it even. You're gonna go 551. Try it like that. One gold head. I'm reading the chat and debating which of these messages I can read out loud. Some of them I probably cannot. Not that they're bad messages to uh, put in chat necessarily, but I, you know, I see what you're saying. Oh, but somebody was spamming the chat and they just got timed out. GG. GG. Eh, some speeds and one sculpture. Honestly, not getting a lot of sculptures here. Terrible spin. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of sculptures here. There's the guaranteed five. At least I got the guaranteed five. But yeah, doubling back on your question, War Daddy Chat, I, I, I do think the William is better for that defense buff if you're going to whale tank. That's a great spin. I want those universals. Let's go. That is... 10 out of 10 right there. I mean, the stars I don't need, but like, better than research speed ups. Fairly, but hey. I know you want to read this message out. There you go. It's happened. Dramatics, why or wait for the new cab commanders? Oh yeah, you should be waiting right now. This is, this is a great time to wait on investing in commanders. If we're about to get new ones, yo, pump the brakes. Unless you're about to battle and are the rally lead, I would chill on putting universals anywhere. You got like 50 stars when you spun the wheel. I mean, do you need the stars? Players that are in the early game, they get stars and they're like, hell yeah. And like, yeah, stars are good then. I just am at a point in my progression where I don't need them. Ooh, that last spin was good. This spin's looking good. Let's go, three sculptures, come on. Ah, double star. Man, we were on a roll. Devils, hey, cheers. Our pass is tomorrow. Yeah, are you going to stream that? Word Daddy Chad was telling me about it, and I'm like, man, it looks interesting. I'm not a rallier. I just want a solid calf march. I, I would definitely just chill for a minute. If you're, if, I would definitely just chill for a minute. And let's see what these new calves are. Joe Mama, thanks for the super chat. Alex Harold better than Alex Pacall? Yes, I think so. If you're trying to cheeseburger, 
even Alex Harold, like, it's squishy. You got to play it defensively. But it's still quite good. Charles Martel Esong is fine for early game garrison, but won't hold up for late game garrison. Specifically for your city. Definitely not in a flag. That's, dude, that's some GG right there. Ducky moment. What's my Guan Leo gear? Are you just... What a softball. What a great opportunity for me to flex. I didn't even have to initiate that. What's my Guan Leo gear? Okay! Twist my arm! <laughs> okay. Sure. Do you think the new commander will be realized for giving a two or three this year? Nah. Um... Yes. I think we will get a new commander that can be used in KVK 2 and 3. I don't think it's going to be good. I think it's going to come with a new civilization and be in gold keys. Talent the hammer. Gosh darn it. Fleximus Maximus. You're not wrong. Did I just hit 150k subs? Did that just happen? <laughs> uh, Echo's keeping track. I'm glad somebody is. Uh, oh, I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. 149,115 subs. Not bad. It's been a crazy journey, man. If you're enjoying the stream, consider uh, throwing a like on here and subscribing. I might need to do some sort of a subathon thing to get to 150k. I'm so close. What is this? Bruh. Bro. What is the upgrade for Charles, Charles and Esong? So, I mean, they're both good. I think the the best first step if you were sculpture rich and most people are not and shouldn't do this but if you were sculpture rich like my farm with over 3,000 gold heads and you just want to be difficult defensive honey badgering I think right now Martel YSS would be a good next step a lot of counter attack there Make that farm really difficult to swarm. Run tell Mel, thanks for the super. Here's a lucky super chat. We need some eight spots. Hey, I appreciate a lucky super chat. I'm due for an eight spot, right? There's a universal. There's a, a single sculpture. Food. Wood. Come on. Double star, we need that eight spot. 150k and refine him. Wait, you all... You think I'm kidding when I say that I have 3,000 sculptures on my farm? You think that was exaggeration? That's not exaggeration. That's straight up not exaggerating. BR Longhorn, thank you for the super chat. Saladin William, starting on XY, you mentioned XY... And, uh, okay. Is that still good? Okay, one moment. First, to show that I was serious. <laughs> Off by 45 sculptures, but directionally correct. And I think the question here about... Where do, where's my Minamoto? Okay, there he is. So, XY Minamoto? I, I, I don't think people are using that. The problem is that Minamoto is too squishy. He doesn't give you any tankiness at all. 
more attack and march speed. Like, yeah, you can do some single target damage that's pretty fierce. And the reason is that, like, this is some really good single target damage right here. But, no, I think you want you want to be with the Saladin if you're using XY. Uh, Saladin William, starting on XY. I would be looking for some other Cav Commander for the XY in this instance. Like, you, like hey, look, if you got a Max Minamoto, that's a fine starting point. Alternatively, you could work on your Garrison, Charles and Esong. Can I, can I suggest that you do neither of those things? If you still have the option of doing neither? Is that, a, is that an, a fair suggestion? If you don't have a, a Cav Commander to pair with XY, you could pump the brakes on that until we see what the new Cav Commanders are. And I wouldn't invest in a Charles Martel Esong City Garrison right now. Also, until we see what the new Commanders are. Get T5 on the farm. I actually don't want to. I don't want the gold cost of T5 on my farm. Like, I actually just need to transfer the gold from my farm to my man. Like, I urgently just need gold. I go gather that stone node, but stone is basically a dead resource to me. Like, actually, I just don't need any stone at all. War Daddy Chad. Oh, God. He just crit a Hope Cloak for Trajan. Congratulations. Helmet, boots, cloak, leadership. Drink it in because it's so dumb. Hey, dude, those stats are going to be really, really good. Those stats are going to be really good. Mando Theory. I'm migrating to do a KVK 2 and 3 over again. Cool. You're currently about 18 million power. Yeah, there's more ways to get free-to-play passports would be nice. Currently, the only way you can do that is in the Alliance shop. And a lot of shops don't have the currency to stock those. Apparently, we're broke right now. What do we have? Oh, we're fine. We're just uh, shop poor, apparently. But also, a lot of people put, like... Like, there's, there's no reason these boosts should be replenished in the shop. It's just, like, nobody needs these in an alliance like this. I'm sure these were here before we got here. You know? The game, man, you really need more ways to get alliance currency. Like, it should not be so limited. It really... I would like it to not be so limited, man. Spin it! What's the optimal starting gear I should go for on my Trajan? Um, you know, Windswept is a fine starting point. That's what I did. And the reason that I like that is that A, it's cheap, and B, you really need the march speed. So that's a fine starting point. And then assuming you're doing infantry, like you want the, you know, pants that give you some infantry health, that's a really good pickup. Skip the animation, and I bet you'll get the 8th spot. I wish it worked that way, man. Uh, I, I mean, I only really have the one farm at this point. Like, I have two 4,000 power cities that I have not done anything on, and I hope the game hasn't deleted them. I do not have any information about India. Ooh, two sculptures. Research speed. Training speed. All right. Who would you pair with Chandra if not with XY? Um, I like Chandra William. I think that's a cool pair. Salad and Chandra is probably also fine. Negan is not here with us in 254. I do miss Negan. Alex or Martel with Esong? Alex. For open field. There's a sculpture. I got one. Little bit of speed ups. Not amazing, honestly. Alright, one more spin. 
What do we got? Sculpture. Stone. Food. Food. GG. Sculpture. This is an okay spin over here, alright? It's okay. It's fine. It's not amazing. Not every spin needs to be. Sort of. <laughs> okay. Let's do this thing, shall we? Where do I want to start off? Here is freaking really easy. To invite my alliance. I bet you most people have already done this, though. But send the invite to the alliance. Just put it in kingdom. I don't know. It might be against the rules to put that in kingdom, man. Clutter up all the titling. First day spins, she always wrecks ya. Yeah, could be. What's in the shop? I didn't even check since this last update. Uh, nothing crazy. Whoa, okay, that was fast. Everybody DPSs, nobody gets focused? Question mark. We've come up with a lot of uh, fun variations on my uh, everybody and nobody gets focused line. We have no tank. I'm good with it. War Daddy Chad, we got ring on my... Ooh, wow. Got a ring for Xeno on your garrison account. That's nice. That's nice. I should probably make a preset for this. Should probably just make this a preset. I'm using Kira to enhance everybody's damage in this game mode. The entire 2080 KVK rests on Chiskul's ring advice. No pressure. Oh, God. No pressure. Ring's really good, man. Ring has to be... I want to say ring is just like the best accessory in the game. Outsider, thank you for the super chat. If Chisel gets an 8 spot on 5 spins now or in the future, I'll donate another 100 bucks. Man, I'm all out of spins. I'm all out of spins. Quick, enter the veil. Guess I should have done a damage uh, class here. But I feel like you might get more overall damage just being the healer and smashing the damage button. Maybe. Uh, might be wrong. That's probably not accurate. But it's good enough. Come on back. Get that healing going, baby. We want Bunny in stream. He's funny. That probably could be arranged. Can I make a guide on accessories? Great news for you. I have already made a guide on accessories, and it's very detailed. It's pretty good, I think. If you do a YouTube search for best accessory equipment in Rise of Kingdoms, and you just add my name at the end, best accessory equipment, just cool. I bet you'll find it. Also, thank you for the super chat. Again, Outsider and War Daddy Chad. GG, I stepped away to make sure I didn't blow somebody up. And we were going to win anyways. Got him. Cool. Yeah, I did see that Baba made his way. Maybe we all go DPS for this. Baba made his way to 636. Let's go. Okay, put that in the uh, Smash Squad. Do we just all go DPS? Is that... Can you win before it phases? Uh, I don't know. We'll just go with the standard configuration, I suppose. Now that I've got my presets sorted out... GG easy. Ramsey's is very good. I feel like it will be... You wouldn't regret maxing Ramsey's, but I just will tell you... 
Like, given that we would expect new commanders to be just around the corner, I really would pump the brakes on all commander investments. Theoretically, the better move is to pop this damage buff not in this phase, but in the next one. I guess technically it's the third phase. But whatever. Maybe we can beat it. I probably should have picked up another damage ability if I thought we were going to just like really go for, for a, a win. I don't think we have the DPS though. Well, do we have the DPS? We might. Uh, I don't know. We're close, but we're not quite there. I think. Play Soroli with Chuni and Omniar? Is that an option? Where's my Chuni button? Alright, yeah, I don't think we were that close to beating it before it phases. I don't think I can pull off this heal. Oh. I feel like it's about to phase. If I'm remembering correctly. I'm surprised I got the full duration of that heal in, though, before it phased. Phases in five seconds? Yeah, there it is. I mean, we did pretty good. A little more DPS, we might have been able to get that thing. Uh, we expect the new co uh, commanders will be cab. Echo, good to see you as always, man. Hit that 150k. Don't stop streaming till you make it. Oh, God. I don't know about that. <laughs> a group of rabbits are called a fluffle. Please tell me that's accurate. What's happening here? Is this true? Group of rabbits. Group of rabbits. It is called a fluffle. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's very cute. I'm not gonna lie. I guess I save up for the damage buff here. Not that we need it. I feel like this fight's gonna be over in 30 seconds anyways. Just go for a big heal. Get a bunch of contribution points. Lol, GG. You want Chuni and Bunny on a team? That might be arrangeable. Let's see how I did. Got him! <laughs> I cheese healed at the end just for contribution score. Lol, lol, lol. All right, cool. This is good stuff. Show the DPS stats. Oh, sorry. A little late for that now, I think. We're getting this stuff done, though, baby. Getting these bosses done. I love it. Ack and Hawk. Challenge. Invite. Smash it in the Smash Squad chat and let's go. Whoa, that was fast, man. Okay. Yeah, Kira is the main target in the Soroli shop. Although, you don't really need her for anything. Like, she's good, but like, I don't use her outside Soroli, really. I, I did for a while use her in Canyon. But again, I don't think of Canyon as essential for your gameplay. You had Saladin 5551 and had to choose a second. Who would you go for, XY or William? Probably William, because you also can use that 5511. Are we going to cheese this? Okay. Okay.
Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you need her for support skills in HA. That's fair. GG, verification's got me now. I, I don't know that I would say SW can handle a kingdom by ourselves, but... I, I will agree that we have a pretty sick kingdom in 254. How can you get legendary commanders free to play? Gold keys is one way. Saving up or farming up gems and then using them in the wheel is another. Dude, this guy is getting wrecked. I'm in the USA. You got XY Chandra, always get bad trades. Afraid to use them in the open field. That's because everybody focuses XY, that's the problem. I am surprised that this technique for beating this boss still is in game. GG, easy. Good job, Eddies. Your MVP for today. Love from Bangladesh? Hey, cheers. SW will have more power once we get a Q for KVK. Hey, Adam, how are you, man? Inviting coming! Alliance chat. Boom. Okay, uh, looks like the tanks are sorted out. Cool. I got it easy. I don't have to do anything. Happy New Year. Cheers, Adam. SW should buy me some chicken nuggets. Haven't you heard? We don't have those in our kingdom anymore. GG. It's funny because I I was kind of looking forward to hanging out with Nugget. Is Ethel Fled a good commander? Yeah, Ethel's good. Dude, why is everybody's portrait gigantic? Okay, that's better now. <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna pop a heal proactively here and I'm gonna do the damage in the next phase because it takes extra damage. It's a little bit risky. I'm kind of counting on this to work out and it did. So I think we're gonna be okay. I don't wanna speak too soon, but pretty much as long as this sorts itself out, we'll be fine. Mm, boy. Woo! Good positioning. Dude, I don't even know if we'll live long enough, the boss will, to warrant using the damage buff. That's crazy. Alright, what's gonna happen? Quick use taunt. Taunt's in. Get out of the way, cheesy pants. All right, cool. We're good. Damage buff. GG. How do you defeat this boss? Two tanks is the easiest way. This is really easy with two tanks. I mean, you saw how easy that was. There's like only one mechanic you need to know, really. Eddie's <laughs> The tooth with hands? Giving us a fine gesture. And the sunglasses. Don't forget the sunglasses. Do you think they're a dentist? <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, here we go. Torgny, final boss.
This song, it came from planet Earth is the name of the song. Now we're single tanking. We only need one tank now. Final boss. Here we go. This is fun. But did I get boned? Did I get boned? Bones for Chisquel? I didn't even notice. Realistically, 846 shouldn't fight 254 again. Yeah, I mean, that... Like, the... They can only go poorly for them, right? Like, if they win... I mean, they already beat this kingdom before. So... Like... But if they lose, it's not a great reputation move. I mean, if you're farming reputation, I don't know that you would fight the same kingdom over again. Even though, like, we are a much stronger kingdom probably now than we were before, right? So if what you want to do, though, is get good fights, I mean, you just find the hardest kingdom you can possibly fight and you fight them. Oh, I should have chose the freaking damage ability. Darn, I hope somebody died. We don't have a damage ability here. This could actually go a little bit sideways. GG, somebody's got one. We're chilling. We're chilling. We got you, oh. Okay. I was gonna say, we got you right where we want you, boss. And then we all ran away. But that's interesting. Tank is cycling out, too. All right. I see you. Oh, I got hit by that. GG. Uh, I think this is an okay time to pop a heal. So I'm going to fire that up. Keep everybody topped off here. Nice. This is a fight that's really all about having sustain. It's really all about just winning at a very measured pace. Because even if you try to rush out the boss, at 75% and at 50%, it does that. Oh, gosh. I am a little bit far away, but it's going to be fine, right? GG, easy! Ha, ha, ha. Now when we get to 25%, this thing phases into its final form. But first, it's going to do that AoE. Oh, GG. Oof. I thought there's the AoE. What took the thing so long to realize it was supposed to do that? Okay. Whoa. Okay, there we go. So at this point, I can kind of save my abilities for a second here. Because when we get at 25%, I want to pop my big damage ability. At that point, we want to go kind of Super Saiyan, so to speak. Yeah, we, we got this now. I'm maxed on ability points, which kind of sucks. But after this, I, I'm just going to wait for this cycling. Again, this boss is all about timing stuff. I think when we connect with this boss again, I could pop the ability. But I think also I can just wait a couple seconds. And then we'll have it for the full portion of when it's phased. There it is. My goal here is for us to end this part of the fight as fast as possible because we get a stacking debuff. It makes us take more damage and then it spawns an add. Which, when you kill the ad, it puts a shield down. That shield clears the debuff, which you see stacking literally right above my head right now. So our goal is to kind of, in this instance, win before we even need to kill the ad. Which I think is very achievable. Normally, if your DPS was not this high, you would just kill the ad first. And there we go. GG easy. Woo, 
MVP. I think they changed the contribution rules to give me some credit for that damage boost ability I used. I mean, I know it's like a really high skill ability. takes a lot of finesse to actually pull it off. So it's, you know, I've earned it. <laughs> GG. Okay, we get the materials. We get the speeds. We get the teleport. We get the gold. And I used to be all about the gold keys, but now I just need gold. Desperately. I don't need gold keys, man. Good stuff. That was all of it on Hell Difficulty. And we can open the crates. Let's do that. Ooh, Elite Trophy. 500 gems. Let's go. 15 hours. Treasure of the Cave. Yeah. Let's explore those caves. Um... Right, it's in the equipment section. I don't even know what, what I'm doing here. 15 Ceroli equipment troves. Smells like 15 crystal keys to me. Oh, 14. It was pretty accurate. Hey, Dita Jones. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Let's go. This is a fun stream. Y'all are have y'all are fun here. Is Ticklefizz going to the SW Alliance? Not to my knowledge, man. But you know he's welcome anytime, baby. It's Ticklefist. 14 of them. Come on. Ooh, I did get an epic, but I don't need this epic, so GG. Let's check the 1860 KVK. Is anything going on in that KVK? Congratulations, Emilio, for advancing to the feudal age. Congratulations. We are the funnest stream. The, this stream is most funnest. Most funnest stream. Voted by more governors as the most funnest stream for Rise of Kingdoms. Let's go, Pog. Okay, button. Quiz. What? I don't recognize this. Qu oh, wait. No, I. What is the only short period comet? It is regularly visible. With the naked eye. Is that Haley's Comet? Adam! Thank you for the super chat. And for being a member of the Legendary Guard. Member for 18 months. Let's go. 700 keys, 3 Legendary Blueprints, and 2 Legendary Materials. That's pretty good. 3 Legendary Blueprints. I guess that's good. I don't actually know what the drop rate is. The real question is, what blueprints? Were they good ones? Haley's? All right, chat. Chat saves me. I didn't guess that, but... Hyro... Ah, wow. Hyro... Glyphs. I was going to say something completely different. Hieroglyphics is what I was going to say. Hieroglyphs were a part of which country's formal writing system? That is Egypt. Which composer wrote the opera... The Ring, and I'm going to butcher this, of Nibelung. I was going to guess Wagner. Chat says Wagner. See Wagner. Got him. Pablo Picasso was born in Iberia, right? Which race of creatures, mythical or otherwise, lived on Asgard, according to Norse myth? A seer, see. Which of the following musical instruments has six strings? What is the accordion? <laughs> Pretty sure that's the guitar. How many strings are on a ukulele? Is it four? Is that the violin that has four? How many strings are on the ukulele? Piano? Nice. What technology comes before heavy cavalry? Man, I want to say it's scale armor.
Oh, okay. Ukulele has seven. Scale armor says chat as well. Who founded the Spanish Armada? I don't know. I would guess Philip the second. Definitely, I like Germany in the offseason. If you're going to train a million troops, you've earned it. Rosen says Philip II, which was my guess too. Let's go. Which of the following is a military building? What is the scout camp? In ancient Greek mythology, who was Hermes' father? I just want to say Zeus because Zeus was father to a lot of peeps, right? What about 400,000 troops? Then you do not break even. If you train like a million troops, then you break even on the cost. And if you use a Civ Swap token, it's pretty much free to you, which is pretty good. Plus, there you also get some AP recovery, which is nice. Zeus it is. Love that you're answering in Jeopardy style. Yeah, you, you know, you got to be an old guy to even know what the heck is Jeopardy. All right. Let's go. All right. Cool, man. That was fun. We knocked out Soroli. I'm gathering resources. We opened crystal keys. Ooh, but can I put a skill on XY? Can't even put a skill on him. GG, man. I'm gonna have to, uh... Yikes. Get get a few more sculptures here. Uh, how old do you, th do you all think I am? How old is just cool? Okay. In his 20s. In his 30s. Add an option. In his 40s. That's just depressing. Spoiler alert. I'm not in my 40s. That's why I said that. And, um... Cheesy Pants is eternal. Okay. Pulls up. Oof, you just got zeroed in KVK? GG. You can recover. Focus on your recovery now. 13% said I'm in my 40s after I just said I'm not. Oh my god. Alright, most of you figured out. I'm in my 30s. <laughs> oh god. I'll end the poll. Well played. Wrong answers only. <laughs> uh, 60 years old. I should have played this game at launch. I mean, you know, everything works out, right? You're a legend. Thank you. You thought I was 12? His school is 75. I thought I was 19. 69. 36. Many guesses. How many city skin cards do you have and why don't I use them? I don't know, man. 
I have these temporary city themes. And I don't I don't know what I'm doing with them. Technically they could convert into gems. I don't know why I didn't buy this city theme. I I don't know why I didn't get this. I think at some point I was just being cheap. Instead of just being a whale content creator. And I regret not just being a whale content creator in that moment, not gonna lie. Not that I would ever use the city theme. It would just sit here. But, you know. Then at least you have it, question mark. I'm a content creator. I'm supposed to have all the city themes. Like, why did I not get this? I just felt like saving money. Apparently. But I also have... How did I not get this? Yeah, I, I must have just been looking. You know what it is? This must have been the city themes where the only way you can get it is to spend gems or buy a bundle. And instead, you could use those the same currency to get, like, an epic accessory pattern or epic materials. That has to be what what I, choice I was making. At the end of the day, now it all almost doesn't even matter. Like, I got this sucker. I would almost always just use this one. Like, oh, if I'm garrisoning infantry and archers, use this one, right? If I'm rallying with something and garrisoning with something, I probably just use this. Like, the only time I wouldn't just use this is maybe if I'm just doing calves, right? In which case, oh, sure, I can do uh, a little bit better. One, two, three, I'm definitely 420 years old. You need to wail out and be first in every zenith? Bro, I don't know what the next city theme is going to be. I, I have a hunch it's going to be health. Which makes me a little anxious. Because, like, if 50 million power is what it took to get this open field city theme, like, what's it going to take to get the next one? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. The amount that it takes always goes up. It's the law of Zenith of Power. The longer the game has been out, the more likely that a hoarder will come along and spend down. Oof. I don't know. War Daddy Chad, thank you for the super chat. If I'm running the infantry defense to over 200%, would it be better to use the 5% health skin or the new Zenith skin for Zeno? Um, so you're going to put mixed troops in there. 8% is not only more stats, but also Zeno is one of those commanders where defense is better than it might be for another pairing because you're going to get a ton of health with Zeno. Right? You're going to get 20% health over here, no defense. And you're going to get 30% health over here from the active skill. I think I like the 8% defense to all troop types over the health. Because presumably you've got that YSS to follow it up, right? Yeah, Adam says definitely do the defense. Multiple people weighing in here. GG, Chiskul. GG, indeed. Health for open field, defense for garrison, attack for rally. Uh, I don't know that I would necessarily follow that as a rule, but I would just say health generally better than defense, better than attack. But once you start getting more stats, it's a different story. Yeah, the health skins on the, the Rally account makes sense. What's your opinion on Salad and XY? I'm told it's quite good. Man, at this point, I just, I'm just holding on to sculptures. What am I up to? 1,285. You know, it was a real blessing not having to invest in Solomon, even though I got a bunch of his sculptures. What a bummer. 
Like, this dude is, like, irrelevant. He's the new Hannibal Barca, apparently. So not having to invest in commanders for a cycle really let me catch up on sculptures. I got a lot of unis. 5% all troop health sounds really strong. Can we see the MGE scores? Sure, I haven't even looked at them. I don't even look at this stuff, man. I don't even really go for MGE anymore. Red lines putting in the work. 165 mil points there. Sheesh. Even Bunny Bot's going for a spot here. Oh, there's Jenny. Why not Expertise Cyrus? I'll do it from a Wheel of Fortune. The reason why not is that the next time the Wheel of Fortune runs around for archers, I, like, can't spin it. I'm in no rush to get Cyrus. I don't even use him in Canyon. I don't think I'd use him in Ark. Maybe I would. So I'm just chilling. You're going to move to a very dead kingdom just to win every MGE. You'd be surprised how many people think that way and also kind of snipe things. I don't think this is a fixed MGE. This doesn't look fixed to me. Esong or Richard the First? Esong. Honda 5521? I don't, I don't know if I would say that's necessarily good enough. Depends on what your other options are. I think it could be fine. MGE is free for all here. Okay. My understanding is that we might be looking at doing some arranged MGEs specifically for like new commanders when they land. But for a cycle like this, where I don't know how many times have we had these commanders, right? Attila, Takeda. Well, not. Yeah. I mean, technically, Takeda's on the wheel. But Attila, Saladin, like, those are whatever. Chandra Gupta's whatever. I mean, the only commander in here that's. Like a chase really is Yadviga. And I mean, yes, I get that XYC is like a meta rally. I get it. But it I just don't think it's the chase right now. Best pair for XY is, is Chandra Gupta for rallying. For open field, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of, like, Saladin primary is a pretty good way to go. Just, you gotta hide it, and then you can do a lot of damage. I mean, I think what I'm trying to say is that XY is the new E-Song for targeting. XY is, like, the new E-Song for targeting. You gotta hide it. You wouldn't run an Esong primary. I think we're entering an age where you just can't run XY primary. You can't. You just get wrecked. Luis, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Good pairs for Alex. I like Harold. I like CJ. I like Esong as a starting point. XY Khan is a good rally for Arc Outerland. Hmm. Redline still has Martel Wu. Let's go. Can I put YSS on my wall of 5511? You could. I wouldn't shoot for that as like a goal necessarily, but you you could. If you've already got it, you could do that. And you might like Martel E song, you're getting Martel from Gold Keys for free. And then the E-Song you probably were working on already, right? Maybe? Xeno E-Song is your city garrison? You know, that's what Cortex used. What do we have here? Osiris League. Ooh. Events. Ooh. League stats. Ooh. Put in the League stats now. Are these the league stats from season four? Okay, yeah. That makes sense. 
And the shop, baby. I gotta burn through this shop a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. They combined the, the shops together. Okay, I, I get it. I see you. They combined all the shops here. Kind of makes sense, actually, if you think about it. Justin! Thank you for the super chat! Dojimoto waving the flag. Cheers. Thanks to the super. Much appreciated. Am I close to T5? Oh, I got T5, baby. I remember I was on a, a work trip, a business trip, and I unlocked T5 and I made the video anyways, man, from the hotel room. Let's go. Let's go. Sobek, the protector. Guarantee you they add an achievement associated with that sucker. Same with this one. Sobek, the crocodile god. Sobek has many flavors. I don't like Khan Saladin in the open field. I don't know when new Cav commanders are dropping. Um... I mean, we're due for it in the next month or so. Con too squishy. Yep. I plan to spend a lot of this currency right over here. Mm. Advanced army expansions? Let's go. This is where it's at right here. Ramsey's and Nev is a fine open field combo. I used it. I used that instead of Esong when I was getting focused a lot and we were very outnumbered. My goal was to just make my Archer March a lot tankier. And when you're getting attacked on Ramses, you have a chance to proc March speed so you can get away from a fight. It's really very strong. God, if we get a very tanky Cav Commander for open field, that would be so OP right now. That would be so OP. I would have to make another Cav set, probably, to get a second Cav March going at that point. That would just be so OP. Now I don't have any Cav gear anymore. I got rid of, like, all of it. Really like all of it. I even got this stinking helmet on. Doesn't make any sense. I think that I would... How would I do this? I mean, I have this piece. If I if I urgently needed a cav set, I think I'd just jam out all the epics, right? That's what I would do. Just make another epic cav set. And, I mean, if I were looking to upgrade that cav set, let's see here. Right, I think I would do the set helmet. That would be a nice upgrade over the attack stats. The chest piece, I mean, I think... Let's see here. Like, this is just attack. I don't really want that. I feel like you'd have to do set chest and ideally set boots, too, for calves. That's a true statement. And at that point, you just need one more piece of the set. I feel like pants, I would just try to keep it... Just do Gladiator for as long as I could stand it. Just stick with this, man. So it would have to be gloves, I guess. Which is a little... Yeah, no, actually, that's perfectly fine. And that's how you get your four-piece bonus. That's how I'd probably swing it. Set gloves. Set helmet. Set chest. Set boots, set gloves. Yeah. And then I would have the epic weapon. And I would have the epic pants. And I just sit with that for a while. That would be the way. That's a lot of materials, though, to go for the legendaries. I mean, I'd start with full epics. I've got the materials to do it, but not if I go for the hammer, which I probably will at some point. Which, Big Balloon just asked, when are you going to refine the hammer? Man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to refine the stinking hammer, man. 
Boots are better than gloves. Yeah, the boots are health and the replacing attack, which is like a that's a nice upgrade. How do I feel about Gilg and Neb for city rallies? Oh, if the enemy is not gonna be able to do anything about it, it's really good. The thing about Cav rallies is that you can have Cav commanders and Cavs they march faster. So Cav rallies are really nice for like a send far behind enemy lines. So you'd never run an archer rally far behind enemy lines. It just doesn't make sense. So if you're going to do archers, it's got to be like a rally. It's a rally on a city where you're like right on top of the city and you own field. Oh, wow. Your first season of conquest. Which commander should I go for? And it depends a lot on how you want to play the game. You like archers, like infantry, like calves. What's your gear? I would probably steer you toward maybe someone to pair with your E song, depending on if you already have something good. Yeah, 75 legendary mats for a refine is a ton. It's a ton. What should I make for my Guan? Better KVK helmet or just go for hammer? Man, I I think I started with both. But I think... I th it really depends on how you want to gamble. Right? Like, if you go for the helmet, it's 15% of stats and you're gambling against the helm of the Eternal Empire. If you get a talent on the KVK helmet, then it's going to be better than the set helmet. But if you don't, then if you talent this helmet, it, it's going to be about the same. But you do save a lot of materials that way. Oh, yeah. No, my... my my set gear is pretty nuts. And I say set, but I mean the set I use for garrisoning or rallying. For infantry is pretty sick. For archers, it's pretty sick. And for calves, it's pretty sick. How do you decide to do Season of Conquest again or redo Season 2? I almost feel like Depending on what your power is, like if you don't have T5, I would be more inclined to go back and do season two again. But I I also feel like, would it be the worst to play a season of Conquest one round if you really like your kingdom and see how it goes? You could accumulate some equipment that you can bring back with you. Some you can't, some you can. I don't know. You talented the helmet on your first try? Actually, me too for this one. This was my first special talent ever, which was a nice pickup. That was a nice pickup, man. Good pairs for Alex KVK2, Alex Esong, Alex Sun Tzu, Alex Bjorn. Art Tommy is it okay fifth March? Yeah. It's an okay fifth march. Way to flex. Yo, when you spend as much as I have on this thing, you gotta show off the car a little bit, right? Can't just leave that in the garage. Oh god, Venom. That's free to play. Are you able to get good armors constantly? I mean, you can, over time, consistently build up your collection, but it's going to take time. You got to do all the events. What am I most proud of in Rise of Kingdoms? That's a good ask.
probably the community we've built in Wolf. It's probably the thing I'm most proud of. When is the money spent last year coming out? You know, I was going to make that video this week. And, you know, it's interesting. You can reach out to Apple and download your, your data for spending. And I thought I had set that up correctly. But the way that they classify, like, the categories of spending was not clear. And apparently, somehow, I didn't select the right thing, maybe. I don't know. It's not clear to me. I requested another data poll. Hopefully this time I get what I need. Am I going to steal some people's OL spots? I don't think I'm going to steal anybody's spot. Um, if I am accepted onto an OL team, which I hope will be the case, I think it's players who have migrated out or quit that I would get their spot. I think that's how that would work. Is Honda good? I mean, he does a lot of damage, but he's a glass cannon. That's the problem with Honda. Good, but a glass cannon, man. I don't even know where he is. Honda. Glass cannon's the problem. Nothing defensive whatsoever, right? Like a tiny amount of skill damage. No, all damage taken reduction, but that's it. A little bit of uh, normal attack damage taken reduction, but it's very little. Now, I will say this. Let me jump in front of the table here. I have a quick event I gotta bang out. This is just gonna take like a minute or two. Switch games. All right. So I wasn't sure if I would still be streaming when this went down, but uh, this is Lord of the Rings Rise to War. I play this on my second channel and we're about to take this keep. It basically just takes a ton of people attacking this thing all at once is how you do it. Um, and I'll just tell a story really quickly while we wait, because it's gonna, this is gonna go down in like 60 seconds here. Yeah. This is like about to happen. But if I just zoom out real quick. Right, so this is Middle Earth. You all, you all like Lord of the Rings, right? You're familiar? In, um, Dark Blue, that's, that's my faction. Okay, we're playing as Gondor. So this game is like a March of the Ages KVK. There's no home kingdom. You just like start the game and you're in KVK. And you form alliances like literally as you start KVK. It's like, okay, make alliances. Pick factions, make alliances. It's nuts. So of course we rolled up with like a big, big group man. And all these people were giving us shit. They were like, oh, they were saying all this crap about how YouTubers ruin everything and how tough they were and how weak we were and all this kind of crap, right? So we get attacked by two groups at the same time, right? We get attacked by, was this, uh, Mordor? We got attacked by Rohan at the same time. Dude, and we're beating them both. Ooh. Ooh, that's got a sting. They were talking all this shit and they come in, they swing both of them at the same time, two on one. And we're like, okay, now we're taking their lands. And the funny part, can you imagine this? Oh, I gotta go. I gotta attack. Send in Gandalf, send in Aomer. GG, easy. So the funny part is that they come back to us and they're like, okay, guys, okay, guys, we made a mistake. We're, we made a mistake. Our bad. Same borders, guys. Same borders. Same borders. They, they were requesting same borders. Like, they attacked us, and they're like, oh, just put the put the borders back to where they were, please. Are you nuts? Same borders? 
That's the biggest BS I have ever heard in my entire life. Same borders. No. Uh, the One of our leaders was like, you literally attacked us when I was sleeping. And I woke up and you were attacking. So when we're done and it suits us, we'll let you know. We'll let you know when we're done. Jeez. Out of the blue. We had never aggressed against them. We never talked shit. We were just like doing our own thing. Same borders. Can you imagine in a KVK? Like if somebody attacked you and then was like, same borders, please. We made a mistake. Same borders. No way. Not a chance. Not a chance. How'd I do? Uh, that was a little rough. But I did beat the army. So I beat one army that was almost dead. And then I took some... Took a, so in this game, you always have troops die. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Like, some die and some get wounded and you can heal them. Uh, Okay. And then this fight, I just crushed it, man. Like, I, I lost almost nothing. But I barely did any damage, but I lost, like, nothing. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to retreat this army. It's it's basically, when I sent in that army, it's just sitting there on top of that keep, and it's just going to basically keep fighting until I don't have any more troops, or I've fought, like, four battles. And combat in this game works in a series of rounds. It's kind of like chess. So you move your piece in, your chess piece, and you get 10 rounds of combat. And then there's a five minute break before you automatically engage again in that same board of the chess, uh, same square of the chess board, right? And you have sort of five minutes to kind of look at the report and decide like, do I want to stay? Do I want to, like, what do I want to do? Um, and in this case, I retreated my march to its previous tile. And now I'm going to send more troops to the army. Okay. And then I can do this all over again. And I'm sending a blend of like really tanky frontliners. And these are some bow knights, elven archers to do a ton of damage. So that's the kind of composition of my army here. Of course, there's lots of different units and you can kind of pick and choose which ones you want. You can tech them up and all that kind of stuff. And this is a, a very important part of the map here that we're taking. So this, this part of the map, this is this is a keep. Um, there's a number of benefits you get from taking a keep, but as I was showing you on the map earlier, if I zoom way out, right? Like this part of the map, see how it's not colored in, the color of our faction? That's because we don't own the keep. When you own the keep, you then own the land. And it gives you protection when you're on that land. Your city can still get attacked any time in this game. But when somebody goes to like attack your territory, they get a, a debuff to the amount of siege damage they do, their ability to actually capture it. So all that to say, when you own the land, there's a lot of defensive benefits that are bestowed and your enemy can only get around that by declaring war. And you can only declare war for so long and so frequently. I've said many times that this is like March of the Ages KVK. It's just like straight up March of the Ages KVK, sort of. Um, because like what you just saw me do, how did March of the Ages KVK work, right? You had those little like forts that you built and you stationed a commander in the fort and then you reinforced troops from like your city or the fort to keep field fighting. That's how that worked, right? Well, well what am I doing here? I have a fort over here where I stationed two of my commanders, Gandalf and Aomer, and they're off to the side over here battling, right? And then when they were lo running low on troops, I refreshed my troops. Like, it's the same thing. March of the Ages was built, I think, to emulate this style of strategy game, which I actually find very fun. Um, and it's very time consuming in a in a not healthy way. It's very time consuming. But I find it very fun because it's all about like optimizing stuff. I pour myself some more water here. <laughs> Glass, you see right through it. Um 
But it, it's a very different pace, right? Like, there's no open field fighting. That's not a thing. That doesn't exist. Right? And so the kinds of people... I mean, you, you might like this game, and you might like Rise of Kingdoms, but just because you like one doesn't mean you'll like the other. And, you know, once you can open field fight in Rise of Kingdoms, like... Merging the two ideas, it just didn't work. Johnny, you're skipping season two in Loader. You could do that. I mean, I'd encourage you to do your tavern tips every day for free. Just log in, fire off your tavern tips, collect the reward, and then you can move on. So now we've killed the armies that are defending this thing. You can see zero out of 20 armies remaining. And now we're doing that siege damage I was talking about. Currently, this is neutral. But once we take this, we get a, a huge defensive bonus for all the stuff that's in this zone. So I don't need to be here for this sieging part. I'll go back to what we were doing here. Um, there's a lot that I could do. Oh, man. I don't need to be here for this part as I work on my respect for my commanders over here. Boom. I'm just going to zip back over to Rise of Kingdoms. I was there for the thing I really kind of needed to be there for, which is helping clear the things defending that keep. Because I have some of the stronger armies because I've been no-lifing that game. That was Lord of the Rings Rise to War. Uh, it's funny how I see the messages when people say I'm ignoring them, but no, I am not ignoring your messages. Andrew, uh, you can send the link in my Discord server. Go to the community section of my Discord server, discord.gg slash chiscool. Post the link. Barb Fort Rally. Dude, the Barb Fort's right on top of my city. How can I not launch a Barb Fort Rally? Right? Is it better to refine a legendary or to craft another one? It depends on how many you need. This was the beauty of the old system was that like, I wanted to have three infantry sets and in the old system, I could have made three different pieces and still been working toward the talent. Whereas now you're not, you gotta refine. So if you're a rally leader or a garrison captain, I think you're much better off refining than you are making many new ones. Rally Cortex. That is a doable thing. Please don't go to 200 million without doing it in a video or stream. Duly noted. Oh, it banned you when you posted a link in my Discord server? GG, my bad. Did it ban ban you? Or did it just delete the message? Are you ban banned? Woo. Shadow Adam, your archer set is disgusting. Holy moly. I got all these messages. Community chat. Oh, won't let you link. GG. That was worth a shot. Can we see Bunny's gear? Uh, not unless he's got a picture of it in his profile. Oh, you only get banned if you do it many times? Okay. Bunny gear? Alliance members? Bunny? Info? Oh boy. This is risky. What do we got here? Zeroed squad assemble. Nice. 
like people going to open field fight with their siege or whatever. Maybe just assembling for the sake of assembling. GG, that's some dead troops right there. I think you have more of this KVK though. No, maybe not. Maybe that is right. I don't know. That's nuts. Oh god. Uh Okay. Oh jeez. GG. English literature. Oh man. <laughs> English literature, I will die for honor. French literature, I will die for love. American literature, I will die for freedom. 254 literature, I will die. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Okay. I see you. Also true. Mark's Woman Dragon Lancer or Joan Centurion? Dang, that's a tough one. Probably got to use the Joan Centurion, though, for those Joan buffs. You killed off all your troops in KVK, too? GG. Dragon Lancer with OP gear beat a T5 Guan. T1 and no gear? I don't know. I'd have to look into that. Alex is a great commander. Like, if you. Between Richard and Alex, I would go for Alex. Attack equipment is not. It's. It serves a purpose, but it's not meta. Attack reduces the speed of the fight. If you want to end a fight quickly and you don't care as much about the trade, run a lot of attack on there. You got camp by Dragon Lancer on Lancelot with T5 Cav. GG. Can I make an after T4 guide? I think I have one of those. I feel like my ultimate guide to T5s is what you're looking for, right? I think so. And on that note, I'm going to get some lunch. If y'all enjoyed the stream, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. I had a lot of fun. This was great. We should do this more often. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. To be determined. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom. We'll do more Wheel of Fortune, possibly tomorrow in a stream. We'll see. Take care, everybody.